Hi. Hello. It's the Wee S's again. It is. Can you believe this? Two in one day? This is our third weenie show. Yes, it is. Second for the day. Second for the day. And um, earlier today we did the... Korean hot dogs. Korean hot dogs. Oh, excuse me. Korean corn dogs. Corn dogs, which were phenomenal. Yes. Were wonderful. Very simple. Flavorful. They were really good. Mm-hmm. They were really good. I want to go back. First experience. Yes. Never had them. And the Indonesian... And the Indonesian egg rolls. That was just an extra. Which that... that Hey, you know, when I go someplace and I'm trying something that's for the show and there's mm-hmm. something else that looks appetizing. Yeah, that, that was I a nice order little it bonus. And give it a shot. Nice little bonus, but it was. Now we're coming back to the states a little bit for yes. something a little more local. And what are we trying? Tonight we are trying slaw dogs, which looks like this. And you made it. I made it, yes, because um, there's a place that makes really good slaw dogs. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is not my first first foray into slaw dogs. The rule on this show is... At least one of us. One of us has to have not tried it. Right. And... Guess who doesn't like coleslaw? This well, stuff. I don't care yeah, I don't like. care much for coleslaw because every time I have coleslaw, it's it's drowning in mayonnaise. Yes. And I don't like that. Right. Um, and um, I have generally been anti-condiment on my hamburger and on my hot dog. Mm-hmm. But I'm going through a lot of sort of life changes and trying new things and um he's all grown up now I, i'm trying i'm trying to expand the palate a little bit yes and get used to some other things and um and trying these condiments is one of them because yes. i don't care for coleslaw i don't usually care for that but Bye. i saw this on the phantom strider show yes. that we we're talking about the hated hot dogs which um we did the um what was the other one the um Oh, I can't pronounce it. Swedish hot the dog. Swedish hot dog, basically. Which the was one a, with the shrimp salad. Oh, my God. Yeah, check and that episode out. That was so good. But uh, also on there was this. Uh-huh. The slaw dog. The slaw dog. Which I don't know why it's on a hated hot dog. I think it's, again, I think it's based on something that... I think uh, after... They're, they're, they're after, rating the concept. Yes. Well, I think that the websites that he draws, he drew his um, data from... On you know, likes a lot dislikes. of Reddit. Most of it's from Reddit, and honestly, the comments that they featured in his article mm-hmm. were from people who didn't try it. They were bashing it basically just on the ingredients. There's corn dogs on that list. Yeah, you know. Which, and when you're in the deep south, corn dogs. I mean, it's, we fry everything. We fry everything. Yes. The corn dogs are as familiar to you as you know the letters in your own name. Yes. And they were saying, "Well, I couldn't find one." It's like, well. Well, you didn't look very hard, did you? You didn't look very hard. Well, you weren't during here. All the grocery stores. Because in every there. grocery store, there's 12 I mean, different kinds of corn even dogs. Even Crystal's has a little corn pop. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And then we have this chain of hot dog shops in town called Sneaky Pete's. Mm-hmm. Which is wonderful. This Except today they, they... Except for... The internet said the one that's close to our house closed at 7. We showed up and Liz says, uh-uh, they closed at 4.30. And I was like... That's not what it said on the Fine. internet. Fine. We'll make our own. So, we had to go to the grocery store and get the fixings for slaw dogs. Yeah. Now, normally, I make my coleslaw like most good southern girls. I use my Duke's mayonnaise and lots of it and my sweet pickle relish and my coleslaw mix. And before we move on, I want to mention the uh, the Korean corn dog that we did the episode on. Uh-huh. If you're here in town where we live. Yes. Glass Panda. Glass Panda is who has it. They're, yeah. They are in Hoover, Alabama. It's a little place tucked away. And it's it's um, a relatively new shopping center, I believe, over um, Brock's Gap Parkway. Mm-hmm. I'm not that familiar with that part of Hoover, but GPS got us there. And the lady that was working um, the counter, mm-hmm. very sweet, very nice lady. Um, I believe her name is Angela, mm-hmm. and shout out to Angela. You gave us some great recommendations on how to eat and what to eat, and they've got this really cool ordering system where you, you order on your phone, mm-hmm. and voila. And they also have a full bar, yeah. which I plan on checking out, and they also do boba teas. And but, when you go boba over there, but when you go over there, it's like tucked away. It's, it is, but it's a cool place. It's, it's really like, cool place. I love the decor in there. I could go on forever. I'm going to just gush, 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 but if you're in Alabama... Go to Hoover, yeah. go to Glass Panda, and give it a try. Yeah. I think you're going to like it. They also do a, other um, Korean foods, 
Uh, they do a Korean smash burger with kimchi, mm -hmm. which I'm, oh, I'm itching Let's to get try back that. over there. So we'll have to go that. back maybe next weekend. Yeah. But anyway, oh, I'm out of town next weekend. Slaw next dog. Week. Okay, so back to the slaw dog. Normally, I make my coleslaw lots of mayonnaise, lots of pickle relish, and eh, he doesn't like that. So I don't like it when it's swimming in mayonnaise. That's when I like it. Yeah. But anyway, um, this is more of a mustard-based, mm -hmm. um, apple cider vinegar-based coleslaw dressing that I just put over the coleslaw, coleslaw mix. Mm -hmm. Coleslaw mix, it has the bag stuff. It has... Um, cabbage, red cabbage, a little carrot, all mixed up in the same bag, all shredded together. Mm -hmm. And um, and I just made my little dressing and, I, and I've got photos of it that Jay's going to cut into the show mm -hmm. to show you how I made it. Yeah. I uh, put a little Kewpie mayo, not much, so I didn't use all my Dukes. Again, because this I, is what we're looking I at. I am learning that Dukes is very vinegary based and yeah. if I was going to use... Um, we, lo we fell in love with the, the Kewpie mayo. Oh my mayo. gosh, I have. Sorry, it's my, my jam right now. But the if I used the Duke's mayonnaise to go with the apple cider vinegar, this would have been so sour. I don't think either one of us would have liked it. Okay, so, well, we're long past dinner, so we're going to try We're going to give it a go. I've never had this before. I've and never had it with this I know of that I could go to Sneaky Pete's. I could go, but having her make it, but having her make it, but having her make it, I know it's going to be just perfect. Yeah, so. maybe. We'll see. <laughs> this is my first foray into a mustard. I may think apple differently in a second. Base. Yeah, I only get made in one. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to have to get a second bite because that was mostly just the dog and the bread. The rest of it is kind of inland, so mm. I have to move a little further. So. And I also put a little um, of the, the Dijon mustard on top to go mm -hmm. with it. What do mm. you think? Mm -hmm. The hot dog and the mustard are keeping it from being just a mouthful of coleslaw. Yeah. That's what I like. Because what I don't like about condiments is when you taste a condiment first. Right. You should taste the dog complimented by the condiments. Mm-hmm. Complimented by the mayo. Complimented oh, by the... Oh, guess what I forgot to do? What'd you forget to do? I forgot. So, I'm, I'm all big about flavor combinations. Mm-hmm. Um, pause this for a second. Let me go get the special ingredients mm -hmm. to and have you taste that flavor combination. Be right back. All right, be right back. I gotta go get. Some Welcome back. Your dreams were your ticket out. Okay, I'm back. And we're back. Okay, so. I'm all about flavor combinations. As a child, my mom introduced me to the flavor combination of sour cream and onion Lay's. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was Golden Flake, but since Golden Flake's closed down now. So this is the second best local. closest. Local. It was a local brand of potato chips. For years. Decades. For years. So, sour cream and onion mm -hmm. and orange crush soda. So, I'm going to put a get Jerry to put a few of these on his plate and I want him to take a bite of the Sour slow dog and this. a bite of the, the okay chips, that's and a good... drink this drink the uh, orange soda to go with it that does sound like a bit of a misfit snack I'll take that okay, okay. hold on We're, let's put the put the drink on your table something on the table okay, okay. and if you're in Birmingham or have someplace where you have sneaky peeps a super sneak Dog, you'll understand what I'm talking about. With this, is also delightful flavor combination. So okay, eat the chip. So, chip, hot dog, drink. And then wash it down with that.
Interesting. Mm hmm. The hot dog went down kind of before the yeah. thing meshed with it, but let me see the crush again. I'm going to try something. I'm going to try this. The chip? Uh huh. Mm. That is a weirdo flavor. Mmm. Put the chip in your mouth and then wash it. <laughs> and mix it with the orange soda. <coughs> what? You making fun of me? I'm not making fun of you. It's good. I love it. Mm. But. It is this fat kid childhood all over again. And I love sour cream and onion chips. Mm hmm. Especially these because. It's, it's Lay's, and Lay's are really light. But I'm going to tell you, uh, I'm liking this. Good. I really am. So I'm probably liking out. yours mm -hmm. more than I would if we got some out. Probably, because the one from Sneaky Pete's actually is the gloppy, you know, very heavy um, mayonnaise-based coleslaw. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to be very picky about it. Mm -hmm. This is not my last junk. This is not my last junkyard. That's not a junkyard. Or my last uh, slow dog. Yeah. There is a place in Muscle Shoals I've been told about. It's a barbecue joint. Tell me what Muscle Shoals is. Muscle Shoals is in North Alabama. I think I looked it up. This particular restaurant is about 188 miles from us. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a road trip one day. They're a barbecue place, but people drive hours to go there for the slow dog. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine told me that. Michelle. Hi, Michelle. And um, we're going to give it a go. I just couldn't work it out in my schedule this weekend. Okay. So the that would be dog. the slow dog revisited. Slow dog. I'm a fan of hers. <laughs> we may have to do a part two of this to get a slow a dog out. Um, to see what it, what it tastes like for the mass consumption. Yeah. This was an intimate experience. That yes. will be more of a... Mm-hmm. But, anyway. And stay tuned. Stay tuned. Uh, so, Jerry has today and tomorrow off from work. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow we are trying two more mm -hmm. hot dogs. Uh, we're trying one from Norway. Mm-hmm. And another from Korea, but I'm gonna make them here at home. And stay tuned because coming up uh, very soon, not today, Stomach not ache. tomorrow, but <laughs> step, step coming up very soon is going to be Weird Al Yankovic's UHF yes. Twinkie uh, Hot Dog Twinkie Hot Dog Sandwich. Yes. Twinkie Wiener Sandwich. Yes. Which, yeah. But yeah. It's coming up very soon. So like, stay tuned for that. We may do three tomorrow. Stay tuned. Woo! And at some point, we're probably going to be sick. <laughs> but I really enjoyed that. Okay, good. I'm glad you did. Yeah. All right. So until we come back with more yummies, y'all be good. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back.